Hey everyone, Roman here, and thanks for all the great comments on the YouTube uh, channel. But I've also seen reading the comments that a lot of you are uh, pretty uh, amazed by my background. It took me 36 years, but yes, I made uh, a room back home, like my museum, and I wanted to show you a little bit more in details because most of the time what you see on the video is those overalls here, but there's actually more coming to that one uh, with helmets. There's a 2019 uh, helmet. Next to it is a firefighter helmet and the funny stuff is that I received it before Bahrain. It was a gift when uh, I had the French fireman do an advert. That's Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Magnussen, Olivier Panis and Fernando Alonso. Those helmets are trade. That's 2010 my GT1 um, championship. That is a 2020 race helmet. That's gonna be 2008 when I'm back in GP2 and that one here that is my first ever race helmet um, when I was starting go-karting. So yes, it's, it's not new. It was a gift from a good friend of mine and I'm very glad that I still carry it over. And what we got here, that's a sort of special one. That is a second place finish at the 2012 Canadian Grand Prix. Um, yeah, that helmet has a very vodka value. That one is pretty cool too. With uh, Lightning McQueen or Flash McQueen in French. It's going to be 2017, it's going to be 2014. First row at the Hungarian Grand Prix in 2013. Uh, didn't win the race, should have. And next to it, another special one. That one was made for my 100 Formula One GP start, Austin 2016. A very special helmet. And then everyone is asking about the Mercedes test. Well, that is the helmet. Uh, the test hasn't happened yet, but we've got uh, we've got a helmet um, ready for it. Another one that's pretty cool is the F1 1000 Grand Prix. That was China 2019, and it was part of the 1000 Grand Prix of Formula One. The kids one that everyone kind of knows. Uh, and next to it, when I won the Monaco GP in GP2. Uh, 2009, so that's a pretty good trophy to have. And then if we, I don't know, if we go the other way around. So that's um, that's motorbike race suits from Jorge Lorenzo. When I won the race of champions, so that's gonna be 2012. We exchanged one race suit for one leather, and that's really cool. And then obviously my race suits of the DHL, um, the 2021. And then we've got all the Haas F1 team towards uh, back 2015 with Lotus, uh, Special Worlds 2014, 2013, 2012, 2011 when I made my way back to Formula One, 2011 winning the GP2 championship, uh, 2010 with Dams when I came back to GP2. The one missing here is the one from GT1. I don't know what it is, I'm a little bit sad about it. Um, 2009, first time in Formula One, that is. 2008, when I was third driver, reserve driver for, Le, for Renault. And then all my years with Renault driver development. One that I've actually never worn was that one. A1GP, I was actually part of the Swiss team. But the funny story is I signed for A1GP. A couple of weeks later, I signed for Renault driver development. And Renault told me that I wasn't going to be Swiss anymore, but French. That's why I'm known as a very French racing driver, but I'm also Swiss. So I actually never worn it. Then my, yeah, young categories uh, to uh, my first ever official race uh, suit from go-karting. I try to fit in, I don't. Uh, it, it doesn't fit anymore. But yes, that was uh, kind of a long time ago. So yeah, that's, that's my trophy room. Um, as I say, it took me a long time to make it, but I really enjoy it. And then if we go on the other side here, that's where I normally do all my videos. And just behind me is a simulator. But the simulator, I promise I'll do another video another time where I can explain to you what I do and what's there. And I can also show you a little bit more of the stuff, stuff around it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the, the video. As always, make sure you click, you subscribe, you like, you make your comments, and then you know we can uh, keep going and keep interacting. Thank you everyone.